I think he's as thick as two planks, frankly, uh, to put it bluntly. Um, he was he was the worst leader you could imagine. Starts a strike at the beginning of summer in spring, doesn't have a ballot and therefore splits his union, uh, and conducts it uh, with all the appearance of having a private thuggish army. Now I know there are complaints about the way police behave, but the plain fact is that he had a private army, uh, internationally financed so far, it's, so far as it can be seen. I think there's a great deal of regret on the side of all decent people. Uh, enormous regret that it had to come to this. I mean, no government would have dared close an industry in the way in which Arthur Scargill ensured it would close. It was not merely decimated, it was wrecked and ruined. Uh, and of course, um, with it went viable pits as well as those which were totally uneconomic. Let us not forget what Arthur Scargill's demand was, that no pit shall close so long as a ton of mineable coal was left in it. Well, he couldn't get that out of the Kremlin.